Hello and welcome to the first Punic War. We are ready. We are marching into Sicily itself and my mouse is still... I don't I didn't think it's my mouse, it's just failing to recognize that I have clicked it in. I don't know, maybe it is my mouse, I don't know. Either way, uh, let's go. Marching into Masana. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. The first Punic War. It's finally started. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Anyway, this should be a good first siege, and we're gonna let the men roam freely. I want some money for this con uh, for this upcoming war, so I'm gonna find as many cities as possible and siege them with my uh, ruler. Uh, I would like it if you didn't cross over, actually. Just, just out of uh, out of common courtesy, just to stop, stop with with that particular thing. There we go. Uh, now, where can we send you? Send you off to this city. Acragas, we can get to, get to these two cities as well. Lilabea should be a city. They have a, a mission for that. Bountiful harvest, lots of money. I'm gonna keep this money. I think I might need it. Siege you. After that, we're gonna go for Acragas. Civic faction, one favor. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, that's going down by one favor. Yeah, let's go for Acragus now. Wild accusations. Despite the long record of public service held by a consul, Tiberius Cornelius, a vile accusation of election fraud has been leveled against him. The perpetrator of the vile slander is none other than Papyrus, a uh, mastermind of the Mercantile faction. I'm not giving you that much money, you can eat flying piss shite. I'll be under scrutiny for the rest of my reign. I don't even know what under scrutiny does, but whatever. No, no, I see Jackrogas, go away. 72 ducats. Alright, let's go for B rot. Uh, I need a new religious advances guy, you. Populonium. Of course. Of course I'm, I'm being attacked by f filthy fucking Carthaginians. And of course my vassals are doing nothing about it. Whatever. We're gonna go and siege Birot. Warm period. Our people, farmers and nobles alike, claim the weather has gotten warmer and the growth has improved over these last years. First it seems like a random happenstance, but the more we consider the fact, we must certainly have been blessed by one of the gods or goddesses. Blessed or not, our people are happy about the changes. So that's the entirety of my country for ten years, negative two unrest. Uh, it's just phenomenal. Uh, you always want that modifier. It's so fucking good. But yeah, we're going to go and siege Barot now. Um, this is rather awkward. I mean, there's not much I can do about this. Oh yeah, and he drops off more troops as well. Fantastic. Actually, I'm going to win that. I'm not going to win their reinforcements, though. Excellent conditions in Telamon. Whether by happy coincidence, the blessings of Fortuna, or just diligent management, for the past year of production, the city of Telamon has far surpassed predictions of local bureaucrats and administrators. While we could simply exploit these boons for short-term gain, some have suggested that this is an opportunity to study the organization of slaves in Telamon, who by all accounts are an unusually satisfied and productive bunch, and attempt to amplify the lessons across the province of Etruria. Alternatively, we could simply... Sorry, we could, of course, simply allow whatever fortune Telamon enjoys to run its natural course. Money, lessons learned, money and lessons learned. They have it under control, that's fine. Um, what I might do is grab one of these small mercenary stacks with a good general. You're a little big, you are a little big. Um, like a 13 stack with a decent general would be nice. You. Your job is to go up here and defend Rome. What? Oh, bye bye mercenaries. Oops. I just marched the mercenaries 
<laughs> straight through. Uh, and he's still going. Um, I've got a new console. He's trash. Fantastic. And I need a new auger. Uh, you. And I need a new Vulnarius. Uh, not you, not you, not you. You. I need a new Orator. You. That Bay Ocean Helmet would be quite nice. Quadrireams. Oh yeah, What? which ones are the Quadrireams again? Quadrireams. Is the... Is you. Oh wait, they're they literally called Quadrireams in this? Yes, they are. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, maybe I will need, like, this 22k stack. I can't afford it, though. <laughs> oh, shit in the bucket. Alright. Let's just call you fucking Hannibal. It's a Hanid. Not even Hannibal. Oh, sorry, it's not a Barkid. Killing you is good, though. What's the capital of this place? It is... It is here is it? Accurate? No, B rot. Is it B rot? It is not B rot. What's their capital of here? Oh, is it here? Oh, fucking hell. It's Milliet. That's not good. So I got you, which is annoying. B rot has been sieged though, which is nice. getting thrown back from there. As soon as we siege all of this, we can start moving north again. Quintus has died. That's good. Outraged by the political landscape of Rome, Quintus Decius burst into the chambers of Septimus today, insisting that members of the Senate sympathetically uh, to his cause would, under no circumstances, vote in favour of any legal changes made by our government. It deemed, indeed, he seemed so apoplectic, he had to stagger out the Senate hall, aided by two of his underlings. And then he died. Okay. Alright, uh, a bit weird, but okay. I'm actually gonna just get you on the boats. We want to go and siege Millet. It's important that Millet is sieged. That way we don't have to worry about food in this region. Ooh, that was close. Vey is under siege. There's nothing I can do. I could... You go and join this army. Oh yeah, and you've got no martial experience whatsoever. So you would actually be useless at this. Let's have... Well, we'll put you in charge. Not forever, but just for a little bit. Influence of the Decius family... Alright, so one of these guys is going to join the Decius family. Researcher. Yeah, that's fine. Level 9 versus level 6. I mean, he's got better troops, though. And he's just sieged Vey just super easily. The shit. Rome is now under threat. Yeah, my troops just melting. Not good. Not even remotely good. In any way, shape, or form. If my vassals would, you know, defend fucking Italy, that would be fantastic. Alright, I'm sieging this, then I'm going north. Fuck them all. I'm losing money now. And you're no longer a consul. Which is unfortunate. I need a Claudius. Should I take this discipline? I think I need to take this discipline. I need more money. Right, that's one. Now you need to go up and kill this. You, you siege Vey. Vey has 450 men only. Let's see if we get a breach. No. Influential family. Uh, Arons of the renowned Cornelian family is... Uh, 
Dane to offer us the support of his family's vast network of contacts in a bid to better or reorganize our bureaucratic system. It's curious that he should approach us now, indeed, some might wonder what the aim of this offer might really be. He only asks that we issue a proclamation in extreme gratitude for the loyalty of the family Cornelian. Um, province loyalty going up is quite nice. Change of governor policy cost is also nice. I'll take it. I mean, why not? Yeah, and you can figure out the rest of Rome. That's fine. Sorry, um, Sicily. You're going to de-siege... And then the army that's coming up will murder. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I need to improve relations with all of my subjects. So that I can integrate them. Just spent so many, so many fucking political points on that. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. The first legion will be Dispatched to deal with you. Heated debates in the Senate are not uncommon, especially where so many prominent members of society are involved. Lately, a wave of xenophobia has swept across Rome, resulting in foreign values being regarded with great distrust. All in attendance today de uh, at today's debate agreed, however, that Tiberius Cornelius crossed the line today when he accused Consul Septimus of indulging in barbaric Vetonian practices. Practices, even. Well, he is practically Lusitanian. Pfft. Whatever that means. But now I'm rash. Which is actually a really bad trait to have. So if you were uh, if you were to hurry up, that'd be fantastic. Get to Fundy and then force march all the way up here. Big battle there, fantastic, we're gonna win that. Siege of Vey has been won, fantastic. Be easily able to murder the rest of these fucking Carthaginians now. Fuck you and your elephants and everything else about you. Where are you retreating to now? Is it here? Is it here? Is it down here? Actually, you can split up now. They need to be quashed. Become friends or gain popularity. Easy choice. Good, they're all dead. Fantastic. Uh, money or stability? Stability this time. Uh, popularity, thank you. Now, I'm thinking what I need to do is have you go to Ostia. This fleet is going to also go to Ostia. And we're going to drop them in uh, Corsica so we can start sieging in uh, Sardinia. Hop on the boats. You're going to go here. Oh, I saw the Carthaginian Navy. It's scary. It's big and scary. But we've taken the capital now. Uh, you should be able to clean up without my assistance. Good boys. Yeah, good boys. I like it. Uh, Third Legion needs a general. I mean, it doesn't really... It really doesn't. You need to not have a general. And you need to go back to Rome and be in a, a legion like that. That also gets rid of our problems, which is fantastic. All of this is in Italy, so you should be able to do it yourself. Uh, you're gonna be on... Uh, where is it? There it is. Defend borders of this. Actually, that's unnecessary. This. Defend borders. You can only go in Italy anyway. You're going to go up here. Oh, hello. That's awful. 
Grenades have been raided. We will replenish the stockpile. We are now out of money again. Research progress. That's probably the best thing we could have hoped for. Carthaginians are almost all dead now. It's fantastic. Right, you want to be a regional army on defend borders. On defend these borders. Where are you going? Uh, Tiberius gains one marshal. You are the commander-in-chief of the First Legion Victrix. So, yes. I do want you to have more marshal. It's kind of important. Seems the Carthaginians have dropped some more troops. Come on, just... Why well, you just stood there? Attack them, murder them, kill them. Decimate and destroy them, the fucks. Yeah, that is a bit too many troops, actually. Just have this guy for now. Have this guy. I don't want you to be on defend borders. I need you to kill this. Go to the forest. He attacks you. You might be able to win. Probably not. Won the first siege of the new fight. Good. Come on, just siege the final places. He's bringing in another 15 troops, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this isn't working. You need help. I suppose that's what you're trying to do? I don't know. Filthy shits. I mean, we need to continue this siege here. What, what are you doing? What are you even doing? Attack the enemy, you fucks. Ah, right. Alright, so we've got some Cornelian reforms. The plight of the downtrodden has been long debated in regards to the Roman military. Our policy of exclusion outside of times of great need has resulted in other nations forging ahead of us in military matters. We received word that great reforms have taken place in Heraclea Minoa, driven by bipartisan force of the elite and common folk alike, resulting in sweeping changes to the very nature of Heraclean military. Tiberius Cornelius, possessed uh, of a keen military mind, argues that we might benefit from adopting a similar approach, although the cost of such a matter is worth considering. So if we embrace the reforms, we get the Marian reforms, giving manpower cover speed and some discipline. Get some support for the military faction. Um, I regretted dismay for 10 years. Less is an output, some unrest. We also get a little bit of aggressive expansion. Um, let's have a look at the reforms that Marion area is in. Marion, 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 Marion. Here it is. So at the moment we have morale of armies and manpower recovery speed. Uh, we could also have Lex Porcia giving maintenance cost. That would be nice, actually. Ship damage done would be pretty cool, I guess. Uh, discipline is really good, though, so I'm sure. Marion reforms it is. Right, I think as soon as this is done we need to go and deal with these barbarians unless you decide that you want to go and help actually i think that's exactly what you're doing good still got this big bunch of bollocks what kind of ships have you got uh quite a lot of heavy ships actually i mean we can give it a shot if we don't we, we need to fight the carthaginian navy at some point Put you in charge. Nine versus a nine. Oh god, here we go. Um, you're gonna go to the Decian family? General of the Third Legion. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh fuck, I've got no morale on my ships. I got no morale on my ships. I got no morale on my ships. No morale on my ships. And I lost all 68 ships. How fucking piss is that? Oh my god. But now at least we have rapid assembly. Yay! Fuck. After suffering a crushing defeat, you don't say, at the hands of the numerous and fiercely competent Carthaginian navy, our fleet has slunk back to port with many hands lost. All of them. 
All, however, is not as devastating as it may appear. Amongst the surviving Roman vessels, a lone Carthaginian quadrireme sits, captured after it strayed too close to the retreating navy. Upon inspection by our shipwrights, a startling discovery was made. The Carthaginians, in a feat of engineering ingenuity, has numbered each plank, rib, and all that make up the vessel, rendering construction of such a majestic warship a matter of almost arbitrary skill. Adopting such a practice could hugely increase our potential for fielding a vast navy, perhaps even rivaling that of the Phoenicians themselves. Yes, naturally. Every port in Magna Graecia, Italia, and Cisalpine Gaul regions will receive plus two unrest modifier... 10 years and I get Carthaginian construction techniques until the end of the game, giving recruit speed and build cost reductions. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so worth it. I just wish I hadn't lost all of my fucking ships to get that modifier. Uh -huh. Senatorial residence. Publius Fabius Rullianus has proven a contentious candidate as consul. Previously an outspoken critic. Oh, I've got a new, new guy. Yeah, I do. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. I need new Vulnerius, though. You. Wait, no. Why are you scorned? You got two out of two. Very strange. Uh, you need to not have a job, though. You go to Rome. You go to Ravenna. No, wait, you need to not be that. You need to go here. And now you can be that. Well, there's that siege. Can I get to Nora? No. Lost. Oh my god. The fucking Carthaginians. The bastards. I need some more ships. Thankfully, without the uh, the navy there, we're actually getting quite a lot of. Um, we're gaining quite a lot of uh, money for having no navy. Uh, so six ships there. I think it's honestly easier to do it like this, so you don't accidentally have your ships die. I've run out of money now. There we go. Don't know how many ships that total is. Six in each fucking fleet. Each port. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine times six, fifty-four. Fifty-four ships. It's not bad for starters, but I'm going to need more for sure. I've only got one disloyal province now, which is nice. I used to have three. But we need the ships so that we can uh, get this navy... Sorry, get this army away from this. That's good. I'm liking that. It sucks that they sieged a city. Okay, that's sieged. Uh, siege all of this shit. Yeah, the problem is they can just drop troops on me from wherever they want. Ah, that doesn't help anything. I need to stop them from sieging my ports where I'm building ships as well. At the moment, I can't stop them from doing diddly dick because I don't have uh, don't have the fleet for that. You all go to Regium. You both go here. Thankfully the, the troops are coming back down here. Hopefully they'll be able to kill some more Carthaginians. I need more money. Thank you. Since I can get this 40 stack back where I want them, which is over here, the better. That's good though, I like, I like that my vassals are helping. 
makes a change from vassals being utterly repugnantly useless. Uh, I need a cloudy eye in the tribunus thing, my bum, my dude. Yeah, you'll do the job. Frankly, Minoa's lost. He's, he's desieging me. I don't like it. Alright, if we get you, you, and you together, that's enough ships to get my army home. It's gonna work out. Alright, the commander is going to be you. Go pick him up. Need to drop him in Carthage. Uh, sorry, in Sicily. Thankfully, I mean, it doesn't take hardly any time at all to see, uh, build ships anymore, which is quite nice. Uh, Queso the Slave. For the last few days, the dark corners of the Senate House have been abuzz with the whispers of dark. Uh, sorry, of huddled relic. Words. With the whispers of huddled relics resembling senators, an ambitious freedman of the Libertini has managed to make his way from the alleys of Ausculum to the Assembly in Roma, winning local elections with wide popular support. Whether his success can be attributed to merit or more nefarious means has been a hot topic among his distractors, but in any case, Queso and his supporters are demanding he be granted an office befitting of his talents. No. I wouldn't mind some popularity, but um, I'm not gaining corruption. So fuck that. Also, I'm at 500 political influence. Didn't even realize. Uh, you can have some of... Actually, no, this isn't going to cost me anything because I've got free province investments. Uh, do that. You, you can, you can, you can have that. You, you can, you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. There we go. Alright, you hop on the ships. Actually, if you can drop them in Neapolis. Fucking shit turd. Come on, there we go. Assault that, there's only 200 men. Stop this bastard. You. Defend the borders. Come on. Kill the fucks. Good, good, good. Don't know where he's retreating to, but he is retreating, which is good. Alright, now I need you to go and siege this fort. All of these ships need to go here. Apart from you, you stay where you are. Great. That's what I was worried about. Uh, lots of money, I'll take the money. Thank you for the money. 51 ships so far, it's good. Yeah, I think the, you're actually going to retreat to that fort anyway. Yeah, I thought so. Don't know where he's retreating to now. I need to get rid of this fort though. That helps. Can you not go here? No, that's Magna Gratia, apparently. Someone else can get that. I'm going down. Uh, the Navy needs to go together again. And somebody wants a job, but I can't, can't do it yet. Naval maintenance cost, that's nice, actually. Build cost, yeah, I'll take that as well. Man, this war has been a pain in the ass, and I realized because of this pain in the ass, uh, first Punic War, um, it, it's now 29 minutes, so I'm going to put a cut in here. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one for hopefully the culmination of the first Punic War. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.